Welcome to Geek of the Road, where today I'm creating an induction kit from scratch. I can see cities in the skies I can see my life in your eyes I know there's times we chose to forget Forget, but searching through those, I still don't regret. Regret. Can you so that's a standard air box, and we're replacing it with that. Quick trial fit. And go to the filter like that. I'm going to throw this away. And replace it with a stretch of hose here. This is the breather for the idle. So we're just going to have to chop this there and that'll come underneath inside the metal pipe. And then somewhere around our uh, air temperature sensor that will go into the side in there. Easy. Drill the pipe, put a couple of grommets in them. This one's the one out of the airbox actually. A little bit of pipe had lying around as well. And this is where the idle control valve is going to go. This is where the air temperature is going to go. Don't Come take your place in the city of skies. In the city of skies, don't wait too late. Come take your place in the city. With the two hoses cut to size, everything's assembled and ready for testing. Finally, I quickly made a bracket to secure the filter in place in the engine bay. The sun's gone away, but the induction kit's on. Let's see what it does. Oh, yes. This is what I love about induction kits. It's not like an exhaust. I don't get a big drone. Um, but open up the throttle and the sound's there. Wonderful. Now let's be honest, I'll be lucky if I've made two brake horsepower out of this mod. But having removed the resonators and got the car to sound like that just puts a massive smile on my face. And that's why I do this mod early on a normally aspirated car, because it just increases my enjoyment of the vehicle. I'm going to put a list of everything I've used in the mod in the description below. Thank you very much for watching and do join me in again next time on Geek of the Road.